I'm Caroline Jackson Smith, Associate Professor of Theater and African American Studies and Chair of African American Studies here at Oberlin College. And we're here today to chat about an exciting production of Arthur Miller's Death of a Salesman, which will be performed here in Hall Auditorium September 18th to the 21st, 2008. This is our director, Justin Emeka, class of 94, mm -hmm. Oberlin College, who's also starring as Biff. Thank you, Caroline. And Avery Brooks, class of 70, Oberlin College, who's starring as Willie Lohman in the production, our esteemed guest artist. Thank you, Caroline. Um, Justin, I wonder if we could start the conversation um, by asking how you conceptualize this exciting production. Throughout my career, my young career, uh, you know, I've really tried to uh, incorporate into uh, much of my work uh, African American cultural experience as a f as my central frame of reference when approaching uh, classic texts in the American theater. Um, and so this is, you know, kind of one, uh, uh, one production on, along a journey that I've, I've been, you know, kind of working at. Uh, this partic particular production of Death of a Salesman, I've been thinking about for around two years um, and p partially came out of uh, me participating in a production in Seattle at the Langston Hughes Performing Arts Center. I was in an all African American cast, uh, which I enjoyed and played the role of Biff. But then I started to think about different ways the, the text might be impacted if we had a multi-ethnic, multi-racial uh, experience incorporated into the play. So then, you know, like any production, it begins with just kind of asking myself questions. What if? What if this? What if that? How would this impact? And then also reading the script, reading the script. And then uh, starting to talk to close people around me, starting to, you know, kind of bounce different ideas off them. In particular, uh, I talked to Avery uh, about this, I don't know, about two years ago, about two or three years ago. And, you know, he, and he immediately got excited by the idea or interested in the idea. So, it, you know, every now and then over the past two years, you know, we just kind of talk about the idea. I kind of let him know what I've been thinking. And then, you know, we kind of started to get to a point where we started really talking about doing this production and started to figure out, well, now, where, where would this production make sense to do? So I started to kind of, like, talk to several regional theaters and kind of slowly, you know, pitch the idea to them. Um, but then as a visiting professor here in the African American Studies Department and the Theater Department, I had the occasion to sit and talk with the new president, Marvin Krizlov. And, uh, and he asked me about some of my professional interests, at which time I told him about, you know, this particular production of Death of a Salesman I'd been thinking of. And he, you know, really liked the idea and said, well, no, you know, we need to do that here at Oberlin. You know, don't, don't do that anywhere else but at Oberlin. And at that time, it was, you know, kind of a new idea because I hadn't really thought about doing it at Oberlin. But the more I thought about it, the more it made more sense to me. It made a lot of sense. Um, so, you know, from that, it's, it's kind of grown. 